Hello? CG5 here! Along with funny roommates. But mostly just me. Um, so we haven't been on this map in a while. Melting Glacier. Alright, um... So, Steeks versus Arzani. Mm. Melting Glacier. Sounds like my romantic play. <laughs> Hello, Lathe Viosin. Uh, like so, 60s and 70s. Dwarf Wizard, Elf Wizard, Human Priest. Oh, wait, we can see everyone's names and stuff. Oh my god, that's so cool. So, 15 year Steeks. Yeah, Steeks with this uh, Kydotron bot. Awesome. Matherin F. And then Tragus, Arzany, Black Void Death. Very cool. Hello, Jade. Yeah, I'm only going to be here for a little bit. Um. I definitely don't have enough time to play, so I'm not playing, but I happen to have... Oh! We got a Wellspring over here onto Black Void... Er... Oh, yeah, that's right. Black Void Death, right? Oh, yeah, like that's Black Void... Oh my god, these new features are awesome! Makes spectating is so much easier. Steeks' turn... He might want to keep passing. Yeah, right. Or just start walking around here. Or I should stay here. <laughs> okay, he passes for 5th Junior. He's gonna pass. I guess everyone's passing. On this side. Because, uh, um, yeah, Wellspring on Wizard equals scary, though we do see an author's harness from birth as big clogs. Okay. <coughs> Reasonable. It's like, let's see where this where this dwarf can go, right? Could go here. You see all of that. Could go there. See all of that. But it's also pretty far away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And then here, it's like the other side, right? Yeah. So right now they're safe from the wizard for now. The elf wizard is much scarier. It might have been better to wellspring the elf wizard. Um, just much more mobile. It's still very long range. Stuff like that. So it looks like uh, Team Arzani is going to decide on what to do. It's Tragus' turn to make a play. Hmm. Not super sure what to say. At the moment, and in general. Well, most of the time, the answer is either Kingland or somewhere. Oh, inspiration. Okay, that's pretty good. So I guess Team Steaks will continue on the past plan since um, Team Arzani hasn't really done much yet. Let's find out. You never know. This is pretty darn cool. Pass. Dash, gonna take the victory square well, now. Um, oh, blind rage wears off. That's actually unfortunate because if the wizard was stranded with attacks in hand, then um, yeah. you know, free damage for Team Steaks. Yeah. Arzy passes, gonna let Black Void Death do something, and this is could be scary because Wellspring bursts can catch right here. That's the limit, so we can definitely catch the priest. I think the victory point doesn't seem bad though. Um, if Team Marzani cares enough to deny the victory point, the elf can hop on, but it doesn't seem like the best move. So Mather and F's turn, nothing. Steeks' turn. Could also walk to f potentially try and counter something or something. I don't know where Steeks would go. Like here, but. So eight, if he has 8 range stuff, like Frost Jolt. Nope. Team Steeks passes. Interesting. I guess I'm pretty. I guess Steeks is waiting for the other guys on Team Arzani to move before committing. Now, if Black Boy Death doesn't need to have something, then uh, these two should pass. Wow, Elf Wizard, very cool. Exith recently posted a thing saying, like, you know, don't dismiss Elf Wizards. I agree. They're very squishy and they're hard to use. Um, but. Should work. <coughs> All right. <laughs> Indeed. And that's basically what they're asking for. Um, so either Priest's got heals or a combination of like um, defender's blocks and these two. Yeah, what's Team Marzini up to? Let's 
String pain is pretty good. It's not a trap. It's very good. It's the only thing with three fireballs, and fireballs very good. Definitely not a trap. For blue, for blue yellow, it's, this is very good. Okay, Team Arzani, what is up? Acid ball, that could be funny. Passing. Like we're dead. There's the burst. There's barb plate. Counting on, counting on some good armor. Hello, Miraval. Um, that looked like wrong chat, I'm guessing. Welcome back, Jade. There's a spear to heal. Makes sense, that's what it. Yeah, that looked like wrong chat. But that's fine, makes sense. No blocks. So, so gonna count on the armor. Well, you could have so much money in certain places to be above the law. A dimensional travel is actually pretty interesting. Um, Right, let's obviously let him pop around, but what it does mean is that he could potentially position himself for a better attack. Like, position, get into position for better line of sight. I mean, so like possibly here. Be a spot, or depending on how these move could go over here, depending for Black Void Death. It's like slippery, but like three times worse. Because you know, slippery. You can you move, th you move three spaces. But maybe people don't know that because no one plays elves. Actually, plenty of people play elves. But even then, it's only elf warrior. And everyone just sort of defaults to costume mobility. Even myself now. Anyways. Tracus's turn. Doesn't have much. <laughs> Ooh. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's another burst. Plate mail success. Minimize that damage. Just a three. Raging Strike will do that. Story has it. Maybe if you guys saw it, um, I didn't see it. I only heard, but someone had raging strike in hand, and defender's block failed three times in a row. So that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Anyways, team, it's team Steeks' turn again. Do they all? Oh, they pass for the well spray for the burst. They're still gonna pass. Back to back to over to Tragus. Oh, and do keep in mind, there are time limits. So one, that's good for me. That guarantees I, I won't be late for whatever like for stuff I need to go do. Um, oh, yikes. That's pretty rough. Oh, that's that's more damage. That, that Wow, three arcane bursts. Everyone's got blue destruction. I mean, yeah, yeah, blue destruction is a daily deal, so a lot of people should have it. Um, yeah, Seek's still waiting for these guys to move. So we'll see. And depending on what Seek says, he might, not he might want to keep the walk. Oh, there's a move. Take the victory square. And now... Seeking over here for burst stuff. I'm not sure if he was burst or control. Ember float. That's sparkling cloth, vulnerable firestorm, I believe. Watching 
highlights people have for like a player for like their entire careers, Messi probably has in like half a season. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, Steaks would know. This is when 3DC was first introduced and was at its heyday on these set of maps. Um, it is interesting how like these little things do. Um, these little things do block a decent amount of line of sight. But then once, if but if you if like the wizards just sort of camp here, right, they they can control these two victory squares and make it hard to get. Like you can approach here and then. Yeah, nibble strike and stuff. I don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wrong chat. Uh oh. That was an oopsies. Unless it's mind game stuff. Nope. Nope. That was an accident. <laughs> That's a fun thing to watch out for in these games. <laughs> Oh, so, oh wait, that's really cute. Cautious oh, yeah, like yeah, mobility. Wow, cautious mobility on the wizard too. But yeah, that's really cute using the um standing run on the wizard who's already out of stuff in hand. Elf priests do that. <laughs> Elf anything usually does that. I know that feeling. I run Elf Priest. With Vulnerable. Oh yeah. Good stuff. You make it work. I mean, Bard Plate. Goodbye, Jade. Back off to spectating other games, I presume. Um... Yeah, look, this is round one, and right, this much time has been taken. Math and F, passing. Steaks walks here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be enough for a burst. This will also work for a burst, if he has it, and it stays out of line of sight with the wizard, so much better. Much better play. It's like if Bernard King hit his prime. Yeah, let's see what happens. Dragons this turn. Passes? Makes sense. Ooh, oh wow. Oh, that could be really bad. They need that bard plate to trigger. 50 50 chance. Oh, invigorating touch. Just to be safe. That is fair. Yikes. Let's steal 11 HP from the dwarf. I mean, that's a fun thing you can do with the vampires. Redistribute HP. <laughs> Inappropriate touching. I like it. Like, in, in this context of this game, not like actual, because that's bad. Anyways, it's probably passes all around now. Um. Right? <laughs> that's what that's what happened. That's funny. Oh. Oh. Do we have a nimble strike or a dancing cut? Is that what's happening here? T Mars and he passes. Six passes. Fifth passes. Oh nope. Just want to get closer. Not discard the card. Fair enough. These guys get priority now. So he can hop over here and start get a little burst onto these two right there. That's indeed what it's gonna do. Need that invigorating touch. Better to be alive than dead. There's the burst. Oh my goodness. Barb plate saves the priest. That is so scary. 
passing, they're probably going to let 50 something because the priest is at such low HP. Oh, that was pretty good. Glinting Eye. Five good cards, and one really, 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 really bad card. Passes. The blue Oh, Ember Burst. Goodbye, Jade. It's just keeping tabs on everything. He is the host after all, so shout out to Jade. Because co-op tournament, very awesome. I think so far this has been... Probably somewhere... There's a lot of people playing. I think people are happy. People are having fun. This is cool. No, no, no. Not somewhere very obscure. Like somewhere either in Southeast Asia or somewhere in between Europe and Asia. Hello, Killer74? Czech Republic? Tel Aviv or something like that. Mathrin F. He's gonna walk. Take control of the victory square and run the elf wizard. I think that's okay. I might have actually want to go here just because we already have control of the victory square. And fifth. Though fifth probably doesn't want to stand there very long. It makes sense. Gonna run probably around over here, is my guess. Oh, that works too. Um, no. One, two, three, four. It depends what they have, because um, they want to stay out of gusts or telekinesis range. Fifth can go one, one of these two. Then the wizard can't protect without having to walk oh, first. The wizard may or may not have another move. Unsure. Also, Steaks can see that wizard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven. Doesn't look like Steaks has a lot of burst stuff, because he would have popped it off already. Steaks passes. Fifth Junior. Right Another option is to hide, but he's going in. Yeah, vampires, that's what you do. You gotta touch people. Yeah. Pass. Yeah. Pass. Instant burn. Barter plate nail kicking in. Free damage onto the warrior. Here's a nice little touch, probably. Yeah, pass, and then a pass, and now. Enervating touch, solid. So. Fifth's at a very happy HP now, I think. Um, have happy them. enough. Hope the armor can kick in. There's no fire starter here. His ex and really Black Void Death is out of cards. Basically. Probably would have used it already. If had like a burst thingy. Arzani, who knows? What? Or Tragus. Who knows what Tragus has? He's just passing. He's just standing there. I don't think it'll be explosive. Oh, it's another instant burn. Oh, and then the other instant burn. Wow. Um, the armor is triggering a lot. <laughs> I don't think you should be complaining, you're getting good yeah, damage onto the Storf. Was that Red Flame? Oh, it is Red Flame. Wow. Wow. Welcome back, Jade. Red Flame is cool, that's the one Legendary. Blue Distraction, the one Legendary. Who knows what the Legendary is over here. Hello, Cyrus. Alright. What Steak's up to now? And what does Matherin F have? What is Steaks going to do? Okay, watch the timers. Um, this is round two in already 10 minutes. Coordination is hard. Uh, okay. <laughs> Didn't you get murdered? Oh, jump spark from what? Um, your Oxel staff? Would make sense. That's the one with two gusts of war. And the illusory barrier and then three jump sparks. I think that that would make sense. I wonder if Jade's collecting stats by asking if people did or didn't die. Oh, that's cute! Wow, that's cute. Two, three, four, five, six. So that's what he's looking at. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> they still got four victory points, apparently, from way up there. Except a cat. <laughs> okay, they did kill someone then. Okay, uh, Junior. <laughs> that stupid cat. Okay. Not much to say. Um, definitely a lot more coordination happening than most co-op games, I think. Except for the ones where I played. <laughs> oh, misclick. That hurts. Are you talking about yourself, Steeks? Did you make the misclick? Well. Uh? Team Six passes. Team Arzani. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Inspiration. I think they're probably gonna try and gun down this uh, warrior now instead. Yeah. Lower HP, no armor, etc. At the same time, the priest can drain, can get heals. So maybe you want to kill it before it heals more. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. Black Void Death is debating. Oh, first to walk? Huh. What does that mean? Steaks might- Steaks could walk now. Nope. Oh, they're just gonna pass. Yeah, remember, this warrior had to take 12 damage. Um, or 11 damage from the teammate to keep this one alive. Scary. Oh cool well, yeah, without the drains, the priest would be dead. Yeah. I guess. I think dangerous and so he's got a lot of moves. Where are you? What? Where are you running to? And why? Why use the dangerous maneuver? You run that way. Are you trying to like get a surround? You're gonna like run here and then run over here. So does he mostly do CS stuff? Is that your play? I'm kind of. I don't know. What's, I don't know what's going on. He's running. I think he's. I think he's going for it. I think he's going for the victory square. Yeah. Holy crap! So he's EE or does he like? He just dabbles there. Well, that priest is getting a good workout right now. Six so might want to move first to be able to. Start messing around with with folks, but yeah, I guess Black Void Death doesn't have much. Hmm. Yep, there it is. Wow, this is weird. Hmm. Yeah, Andrew, eat your thing. Okay. It's getting cold. I know. <laughs> Telekinesis. Where? Here? Here? Like where? Here? Probably farther Here away. Goes. Here it goes! Uh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. I'll I'll 
I'll eat it eventually. Have you fed another man before? Yeah. That isn't the sibling. <laughs> what numbers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still deciding on where to go, my goodness. Was romantic intent? Yes. Oh. Or affectionate intent? This doesn't... I wouldn't think this would be a terribly hard decision, but... Though I guess it helps that one I'm not playing into, I, I don't even know where I would have put it, right? There's a lot of options to help me, because it's teleport. Like, there could have been good, there could have been good. Away could have been oh. fine as well, right? <laughs> you guys and your clever things. Yes. <laughs> okay. And now Steeks makes his move. He's going in. Three cards, what can he do? We see not much on the wizard. We see not like we just we see basically nothing on the on this side now. Alt twenty four? And oh melt armor just to get rid of the harness? It's just a little harness, but every little bit counts, I guess? <coughs> what is Steeks up to? What is Steeks up to? <laughs> Matherin F? Charge? Brutal charge? <gasps> Brutal charge? Yes? No? It'd be hilarious. Lunging bash, dancing cut, nimble strike, winning, winning, and yes, yeah, so if he had moved over here, actually, then the priest wouldn't have moved all the way over there. That's interesting. Vicious thrust. That is pretty funny. Stabby stabs? More step attacks? Holy crap. Mathrin F making a move. Making a move. Pole arm slash, there's a stab. One more card. T Mars and he's stuck. Steve's done got nothing. Steve's is Firestorm. That's a dead elf. That's an almost dead dwarf. Five, it was down to three. Do we have another step? Magical elves die. Indeed. More stabs? More step attacks? I mean, this priest is pure support, so one wizard down means problem. Wellspring wears off too. It's not looking very good for Team Arzini all of a sudden. Steaks ends the round. There goes the elf. Blind rage. There's crazy sals. That's the legendary. That makes sense. You know. Pull arm slash. Where, where, why else would you be playing pull arm slash? Telekinesis. Wait, Steaks yeah, moved them. In. Wait, do they pass? Do they get to go first somehow? Oh no, inspiration. Yeah, inspiration. Okay, there we go. Telekinesis into Aegis? Incoming damage? Is it? Yeah. Powerful hack, but oh, it's a desperate block! Yeah. 
Loki, just doing good things. Hello, Jade. There's another telekinesis. Luke's iron hands. Wait. What? Because we don't have hardware expertise Wait, Luke's wait, that's a legendary. So if you have blue destruction as well, you're only supposed to have one legendary. Oh, yes, it is. It's definitely legendary. So, like, for my 3D printing idea thing, right? You could just write that as a piece of software. That's an oopsies. <gasps> Bash? Oh, my goodness. I guess Blue Destruction was. I even confirmed Blue Destruction myself, but I think they would. They would have checked. Whoopsies! Well, it looks like mm -hmm. you're not supposed to have one like, thing. The most you can really well yeah, they should be dead. Should be game over. Yep. Wow, that bash! That was amazing. Bash into the for the wow. That was so good. That was so good. And yeah, now it's just support priest, it should be game over. This does let the priest get in. Um, but... Oh, it's just weak job! Oh, it's reliable mail! More damage incoming, GG! And yeah, Team Steaks takes it. Yeah, once once Steaks got the Firestorm to kill the wizard, it was pretty over. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Um, is there anything else going on I can watch? Let's see what Lathe Viosin's up to. That's the only reason it failed. It didn't fail because we didn't necessarily know how to... We could have come up with an optimal design. So what's going on here? La team Lathe Viosin in the black? It's just like He's got the Dwarf Warrior. Oh yeah, Lathe Viosin, Miraval, Magic Elves, and Sardonyx. Robalk. I mean, I'm not Tree Pippet. Of course you can come up with new hardware. Very cool. Ooh, Warrior Fest. This is what I'm used to. Two Warrior and a Priest, two Warrior and a Wizard. I'm liking it. Stormward Pauldrons. Solid piece of armor. Though it is armor. Why play armor on elves? Clash mobility. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, everyone, everyone knows that. Anyways. Uh, okay. Wait. Okay. Oopsies. I just want to make sure I wasn't late for anything and I haven't missed anything much either. Oh, that could be cute. Dynamic armor for super move with the uh, energizing move. Wow, yeah. yeah they're going at it. He <laughs> just probably. <laughs> I realize I'm not being super entertaining at the moment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Your crepe. I will. I will. I'll eat breakfast. Um. Oh, that's some damage! Woo! That 
That could be funny. That could be cute. Um. Well, a lot less damage thanks to the armor, but running this way. This elf still has things. Clumsy chop. Oh, armor still doing work. I wonder what Lady's gonna do. Cause something he could do is run over here. Use a dynamic armor. You go over there, take a victory point, be back in the action, start threatening, step attacks. Nope, he's using the energizing move. Oh. Makes sense. The armor um, helps keep him alive for stuff. Yeah, yeah. The dwarf's low on HP. Armor helps him helps them survive, etc. It's good. Um, but yeah, this everyone's HP is getting low. These two could be very important. Like a powerful hack could just pop the warder right now. Be very scary. Powerful hack could also pop this warrior. <laughs> Assuming you know no blocks for other armor or whatever. What's gonna happen? Elven maneuvers last forever. <laughs> yeah, strategy. So it's Robok's turn. What can he do? He can run this way. Going for the fainting strike. Ooh. Into an arrogant armor. Burn them. Interesting. This firestorm could be a, a cute way to help finish what off uh, what the warriors do, actually. And that makes sense. I think. And, you know, they're not priests, so it, it does make sense. Okay. This warrior is alive. Um, pulverizing bludgeon. Could knock out the priest. Also, this warrior might want to try and finish off this warrior. Who knows? It's hard to say. Uh, this warrior, very, very scary. Full hand. Full hand of scariness. <laughs> so, Team Late Viosin, gonna take some time to figure out what the best course of action is. Um, I have no idea what Magic Elves Wizard does, so I can't say anything in that regard. Did they break up yeah. Typically, does play a uh, supporting thing. Looks like they're going to let Miraval have a chance for glory. I think what they should do is probably uh, be an This is going to be the big threat for uh, Team Sardonyx. Like Team Lathe is going to be very careful about this one, I think. Because, like, support priest, right? So yeah, superb piety. Is that the one with, like, greater heal? Um. Not super scary. Oh, Gusts of War Arcane. With Arcane Aura. Push away, push away. Go over here. Oh, that way. Oh, that sets up a nimble strike from behind. I see. Unless this, but if this warrior can just slide in right here, that makes things scary. Byron played no, Prince Frosty, yeah. Hello again, Time Racers. I guess every, uh, other people want to check out all the good action that's going on. There's at least one more one more game going on, I think. This one's going down to time. I should check. Uh, 
I'm pretty sure I have enough time for even if this game ends. I should I'll have to go after this though. But anyways. What is Tree Pippet up to? Level 50 do you? Logan yeah, Jade. Yeah, what what are they up to? What does Tree Pippet have? A heal would really throw off the math on everything. Oh, looks like they're gonna let Sardonyx do his thing. Nope, Robok. Dashing away. Hmm. They're gonna have magic elves run. Magic elves can probably run here or here, and then over here. Claim a victory point. Oh, Martyrs, along with Altruism. Oh, that's brutal. Well, no one's going to want to hurt this one anyway. <laughs> but yeah, this... Those two, that's a huge don't hurt me sign. And I think Lathe does have the Nibble Strike. He's going to try and kill. There's a Desperate Block to tank a hit here. Go it, fly in. The main wrench in that thing is the Grounding Plates. Four armor. There's also blocks. Um, this warrior getting access to this elf getting access to the human, which is good. Oh, use a vicious thrust. That gets around things. Yikes! This is really scary for a team like Yosin. What's he gonna do? Pass. Miraval. Miraval runs, goes that way. That smells like a stabby stab or vicious thrust. Vicious thrust would also do it. Everyone's getting low on time too. What's Tree Pippet going to do now? I'll oh, use the vibrant plate to the dynamic armor to get there. It's no arm, but that was that was a good move. I I think that was a good, very good move. Because if the elf warrior was up here against this one, then the dwarf can't really go anywhere. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Inspiration, six range. That's crazy. Fiery stab. Survives at one HP. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The armor. Woo! Wow. Wow. Looks like ev everyone else's games are finishing up. They're expecting this one now. Powerful hack into a parry! He had the parry. And a desperate it still has a desperate block too. Pass pass. Pass into the powerful bludgeon. No he's gonna walk away. Yeah. Eat up those cards. Oh, he had the powerful hack! They were waiting the whole time! There are some cases of that. Oh, the pain. Yikes! Oh, that powerful hack. All that damage. Like, if you were given the option to 
And now things are really awkward. Like, Mars Blessing's still up for the next a whole nother turn. Very low HP. Everyone's getting low on time, too. Oh, that was huge. Strong Bash definitely would have been enough. To oh, we still had the move. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the amount of bad that just happened is incredible. Like, the elves probably won't survive the fiery stab from thanks to the armor. Another powerful hack! That was just bejeweled up the ass! Holy crap! Wow! And yeah, now they can just sit tight, basically. There you go. Kaylora? Kaylora can be threatening. But this is... This is a huge problem. Martyr's Blessing on a warrior. The amount of scary on that is just insane. Yeah, the elf warrior just had bejeweled sword sword last game. Holy crap! <laughs> There's more of it. Jeez. There's five six of the bejeweled sword sword. Where's the vicious thrust? He just played already. Wow. Oh wow, well. they all just like passed. So like, Interesting. Um, so oh, okay, yeah, get rid of those useless cards. Interesting, because the Mars Blessing is wearing off. Like, I think this running in would have made perfect sense. Um, Force a move out. The then, um, once this one moves, one, like, I, d I don't know what... Um, with Sav's Magic Elves has Oh! Dies to the fire Squeamish Mostly control looks like of Sensei String, right? Magic Elves could No more Martyr's Blessing Two dashes means you can stay in on the wizard But wizard could also have a lot of damage Magic Elves passes Oh, there's another Martyr's Blessing. Just in range. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> Entangling Roots? Is that a thing? Oh, Martyr's Blessing is up. That's so scary. Tome yeah. the Martyr, yeah. Yeah, they Yeah. So There's like one dash. Like Telekinesis would be good. The elf can still get back into another dash. Yeah, and they're not. There's a run. But they should have Stays out of Entangling Roots range. Notably. Five squares away. Within Firestorm range of everyone. Bio Nerd. In. Telekinesis would be good. Burst. Burst. But then Martyrs. So scary. So scary. Flank move. It's not, that's Staying right. safe. There's Arcane Burst. If I right now, Holy crap. One more Arcane Burst I would finish off the Priest. Yeah. Unless Unreliable. Yeah, Perfect strong. Tactics or whatever. Like, Superb Tactics, yeah. Individually, people aren't able to, like, 
makes really and like even if they are it's like it's like that I mean, if you say unreliable block and it's not a warrior like, it's okay it's, it's on a human then it's probably one of those like inspirational thinking skills if you see unreliable block it's probably from local barax but i don't know if anyone plays that anymore oh my god he's getting in Oh, he's going to cap the victory point, and that should... Yeah. They're gonna, everyone's going to pass, and I think, yeah, Team Sardonyx will take this now. Very low on time. They'll have to move quickly. Um, there isn't much more to say now. Wait. What? Why? Why would you do that? There's no point. You just pass. You just pass. Sardonyx. Sardonyx, please. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? You didn't need to move yet. Just pass. Just press the pass button. I mean, you guys are slow rolling so hard. You're pl you're, you guys are being like me. No, only I can be like me. Are you guys trying to win with one second left? Is that, is that the whole plan? Is that what you guys are trying to do? Magical doesn't have much time either. He's going to have to make some moves. Holy crap, we're going down to time. Gust of War. It's one. Oh my god. Does Magic Elves have, have enough to stall for the win? Does he have healing rays? Magic Elves can't pass. He has to go somewhere. Is he going to run on? Time's getting really close. He's running on. There's the dash. It turned out they were able to There's arcane burst. That healing raise was huge. Is there another one? Is there another one? It's it's not GG. Woo! Woo! Wow! That was crazy. That was crazy. Very awesome. Wow. Wow, Sardonyx, you guys are pushing it there. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> wow. All right. I've got to go now. Thought I could at least catch some of this. Everyone else, have fun. I hope to see some of these games, too. This should be really cool. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.